Hey guys, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this video I'm going to help you with a bug currently present on Google TV systems that indicates apps aren't available in the Google Play Store, but they actually are. Now I'm on my new $19 Walmart on Google TV 4K Android box and you will see that when I go into apps, move down, click the search box, I'm going to type in GeoPages as an example. This is one of the apps that seems to be having a problem. And sometimes these are just hit and miss. Sometimes there's problems and sometimes there's not. I hit search and I get this page here. Now unfortunately, you're going to see here, there's no longer a shortcut on Google TV that allows us to launch the Google Play Store. They expect us to do everything through this new section here at the top called apps. But as you saw earlier when I searched for GeoPages, it said it wasn't available on this device. Now here's a few workarounds to this problem. The easiest method is using voice assistant button on the remote and say open Play Store. Got it. And you'll see when I do that, Google Play Store actually opens. And now when I move up, hover over search, search for the same thing I did earlier, You'll see here it now shows up in search results and we can install it. Now something else you can do to launch Google Play, you can go into settings. This does take longer. Go into apps, see all apps, show system apps, highlight Google Play Store, move over and click open. Again that takes longer, it's quicker using the voice assistant button on the remote. Or you can install a third party launcher that allows you to see shortcuts for every app on your device. And I'm gonna show you a few ways that you can do that. The first thing I want to do is install the free app called Downloader. I'm gonna click open, click allow, click okay. I'm gonna move up, put my cursor in the URL box, click the OK or select button on my remote, and I'm going to type in the code 250931, hit enter. This will open the Troy Point toolbox that allows us to install various applications not available within Google Play Store. And there's all kinds of applications you can download and install through this page. I suggest marking this as a favorite once you come in here. Hold down on the OK or select button of the remote for a few seconds. Click add current page to favorites. Hit the back button on the remote to get rid of the keyboard. Hit save. You can also do all this through the hamburger menu. Top right. Click that. Add current page to favorites. You can go there as well. And then you'll notice favorites section. We've saved it. And in the future, you don't have to type in that code and you don't have to wait for the five second load screen. Okay, there's a few applications that I'm going to install through here for this video. And I'm gonna explain each one. I'm going to download Wolf Launcher. Hit download. Now, if this is your first time using Downloader, you need to turn on unknown sources for the app. I'm gonna hit settings. Highlight Downloader, turn it on, click Install. Now important, we don't want to launch this yet. Click Done, click the back button on my remote. There's no need to leave these installation APK files on our device. I'm going to click Delete, Delete again. I'm going to get Sideload Launcher, click Done, Delete. And now I need Launcher Manager for Android TV. This is going to allow us to set Wolf Launcher as the default launcher for the system. So we need this here if we're going to use a third party launcher such as Wolf. Now this is extremely important. Lots of people having problems with this. They're downloading the wrong launcher manager. You don't want this one. This is for Fire TV systems. This one here as you can see in the notes, launcher manager for Android TV. Android TV boxes such as the on Google TV, Nvidia Shield, MeCool, any type of Android TV box or Google TV system. 
I'm going to click download, install, done. We'll delete that as well. Okay, now I have all the apps that I need. I'm going to go back to the home screen, and the first application I want to show you is Sideload Launcher. Now, this should be used if you're not going to use a third party launcher such as Wolf. If you're going to keep using the Google TV user interface or launcher, this here will help you. You can go into Sideload Launcher, click OK when you see this message. And as you can see here, every application that I've installed on this Google TV system is listed here on the screen, including Google Play Store. Now, another nice thing about this is there are some third party applications that you will sideload that will not show within the apps section of Google TV. But again, this will show everything that you install. Very handy tool here. And your other option would be to use a third party launcher such as Wolf. There's all kinds of launchers available that you can use. This is just one example. Now, if I was going to do this, the first thing I want to do is go up, go into settings. Now, the reason we're seeing this now when we go into settings is because we have installed Launcher Manager. I suggest clicking settings and then click always. It's important to do this because we always want to go into the actual Android TV settings page. I'm going to hover over system, go to about, move down. I'm going to highlight Android TV OS build and I'm going to click the OK or select button on my remote seven times. This will enable developer options. You are now a developer. Now when I click the back button on my remote, there's a new menu item here towards the bottom, developer options. I'm going to go into that and now I need to turn on USB debugging. Click OK. When running a third party launcher, you must turn on USB debugging for it to work properly. A few other tips here. I suggest changing these to 0.5. This will speed up window and menu animations. Do not change this to completely off. For any of these, you'll have all kinds of problems. 0.5 will make this much snappier. Okay, I'm going to go back to the home screen. Next, I'm going to go into Launcher Manager, and I'm going to click Enable Custom Launcher. Now, you're going to see there on the main screen, it says Current Launcher, Google TV. Now, once I click this, it's going to change that. Now, first, when this appears here, I want to hit the check mark for Always Allow from this computer. Click Allow, and now you're going to see it says Current Launcher, Wolf Launcher. I'm going to hit the home button on my remote and we now have a new launcher and again it's going to provide shortcuts for every application on our system. I'm going to go ahead and launch Google Play Store and there we go. Hit the home button it comes right back here instead of going into the Google TV user interface. There's all kinds of customizations that you can make with this launcher, there's widgets up here that you can add. You can create different sections. Hold down on my select button while hovering over one of these shortcuts. You're going to see there's all kinds of different things you can do within the settings panel. And I do have a dedicated video to customizing Wolf Launcher, and I will link to that in the video description. Now, many of you have used my guide on supercharging the $19 Walmart on Google TV Android box. If you've expanded your internal storage with a USB drive, it's very important that you go into settings, system, developer options, and turn off USB debugging once you've made these changes. If you don't do this, if your device reboots, it will not recognize your USB drive. Now, this isn't the case for all Google TV or Android TV systems. This is just the way USB debugging works on the on Android TV box. Now, in the future, if you ever want to go back to the default 
Google TV launcher, you're going to want to re-enable USB debugging. Click OK. Go back to the home screen. Go into Launcher Manager. Click Disable Custom Launcher. And now you're going to see there, it says Current Launcher, Google TV. I hit the Home button. And we're back to the default user interface. And you're going to see top right hand corner, sometimes you will lose internet connection when dealing with these ADB settings or USB debugging settings. You just have to go back into settings, network, and input your wireless password. And as a final reminder to those of you who have followed my supercharge video and have expanded internal storage, again, you want to go back into system. developer options, turn off USB debugging. You want to make sure that your USB drive will show up after your device has rebooted. In a nutshell, you only need to turn this on whenever making changes within Launcher Manager. Once those changes have been applied, just come in here and shut this off. And if you haven't viewed my supercharged video for the new $19 Walmart on Google TV Android box, I will also link to that in the video description as well. Let's hope Google fixes this annoying problem with their Google Play search results, or better yet, add a shortcut back to the operating system for the Google Play Store. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos like this in the future. Have a great day, and thanks for following Troy Point.